I woke up this morning and I asked myself, can Jake and Logan Paul save the world? In a world threatened by metal depletion, biodiversity depletion, forests depletion, ozone layer depletion, ocean life depletion, basically everything depletion. Two YouTube brothers will save them all. Seriously? Kill one? Get one free? Actually, I'm also asking myself, can Katy Perry save the world? Can Ronaldo save the world? Can Kendall Jenner save the world? Oh wait, so much temptation, I can't take it. Can Disney save the world? Can Marvel save the world? Can Geordie Shaw save the world? Can gaming save the world? Seriously? Stop. I'm having a killing overdose. I guess I'm asking myself, can entertainment save the world? Are you kidding me? Entertainment? After all, the entertainment industry is America's second biggest export after weapons. So what would happen if mass media entertainment industries dedicated all their time, effort and money to saving the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take Logan Paul Networth, Katy Perry, Ronaldo. Football by itself would have generated an economic activity of $700 billion. Disney worth, Marvel grossed $10 billion in 17 movies. Movie industry activity generates $300 billion of revenue per year. The total undoubtedly covers the $240 billion we need to eradicate poverty, hunger, ensure public health care, access to drinkable water, sanitation everywhere around the world. We are the world. We are the children. As for gaming, $70 billion revenue. If you consider the number of hours spent by gamers, it accounts for the number of hours of human consciousness that has not been dedicated to solving inequalities, creating a sustainable environment. I played with your life, you got lost in the game. Ooh, baby, baby, oops, I did it again. Living in a world of peace and dignity. Dignity, always dignity. I mean time and money. How about superheroes? Where are them when we need them? Duh! We're super busy entertaining! Exactly! It's a pity because while you're watching Katy Perry, this happens. While you're watching football, this happens. While you're watching Thor, this happens. While you're watching Geordie Shaw, this happens. While you're watching virtually any YouTube video, Pranking, unboxing, vlogging, any food porn contest, you name it. This happens. Whoa. One more time. <laughs> Why watching Black Mirror? This happens. Well, in that case. So here we are, you and I, the millennials, my grandma, all of us fed with um, endless entertainment that steals our consciousness time, feeds us with junk food, sells us a junk life and levels us down. But there is one problem though. We are the first generation who is going to be poorer than our parents to see our life expectancy shorten and the first generation in mankind history who's going to have to face a global collapse.
One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Collapse. In November 2017, 15,000 science experts warned soon it will be too late. Too late for what? Avoid collapse? What's collapse? It's called the Easter Island Syndrome. Take an island. People's survival depend on food, fishing and agriculture. Think of exponential growth of agriculture. Cut off all the forests. Let the land dry up. Wait a couple of years. Suffer from famine. Depopulate. End of story. Wow. Whoa, it looks very familiar. <laughs> Global collapse is a result of economic exponential growth that is rooted in a no limit belief system or ideology. We cut, we smash our earth in vain. We kill, never asking why. We last, we fell under their spell. Of your, no one could deny. It's kind of a collective denial. There are no economic limits. No natural resources limits. No entertainment limits. No greed limits. We are driving a Thelma and Louis car. Direction is locked. Full speed. Engine is heating up. Hopefully, the road seems endless. Straight down the line for all of us. Actually, it's a shipwreck as much as a car crash. It feels like the Titanic, but for seven billion passengers. really say we didn't know. Shh. Spoilers alert. Economists like Dennis Meadows have been warning us since the 70s. <laughs> so while the doomsday clock is ticking, entertainment is roaring. Wanna hear me roar? Addiction. Ever heard of tititainment? <laughs> Tititainment is the combination of tit and entertainment. Breastfeeding produces so much pleasure to the baby. These boobs are made for clicking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days these boobs are gonna... Tititainment refers to the mass media entertainment industries and is a physical and psychological food that puts the masses to sleep and control their frustrations and passions. Ow. In a nutshell, it is a very, very powerful addiction. With a taste of a poison paradise, we're addicted to you. Don't you know that you're toxic? Entertainment. Toxic. Gambling. Toxic. Alcohol. Toxic. Drugs. Toxic! Nicotine. Toxic! Porn. Toxic! Screens. Toxic! Social networks. Toxic! Funny enough, toxicity now tackles everything vital. Breathable air. Toxic! Drinkable water. Toxic! 
food? Toxic! Earth microbiology? Toxic! Plants? Toxic. Animals? Toxic. She, we are what we eat. No matter if it's food for the body or food for the mind. And there's a cocktail effect. One more time. <laughs> the results are spectacular. By 2025, half of the children of the United States of America will be diagnosed with autism. As far as psychology is concerned, addiction is related to one key mechanism. Flight. Ow. Escape from the real world. Dum, 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 da, da. Wait. If we're all running away from the real world, who's benefiting from mass addiction? Follow the money. Ego. Economy. Black mirror, black mirror on the wall. Who's the most lit of them all? One of the very interesting characteristics of these business models is self-product placement. I am a self-merch man. Logan Paul keeps on saying, you should not be afraid to be yourself, be crazy, be weird, be unique, be a maverick. But what's crazy and weird and unique about his marketing and business model? You can buy, you can buy, you can buy. Jake Paul sees himself as a positive influence as well. I am a mentor to young people. I try to teach them to set goals for themselves, to smile every day. What's the real deal here? I am a self merch man and I have my teams working like my dogs. Oh, it's lit, all right. Logan and Jake Paul businesses, I mean empires, are addicted to likes, clicks, tweets, like any drug. Click here, baby, one more time. And in the end, they just sell stuff. Buy my merch, buy my merch, buy my merch. Suffering, economy, feeling miserable, lonely, enslaved. Welcome aboard. Whoa. Our peace propaganda provides you with weapons of mass destruction to help you run away from the harsh reality we created. This exponential, ego-driven, titutainment mass industry instrumentalizes young generations. Today, marketing core target is ranging from 8 to 15 years old, but infantilization hides a huge political and ideological stake. Titutainment produces ignorance and apathy. It manipulates the mind. It restricts identity. It forges global consent. It conditions fame and success to being a good soldier of a self-destructive economy. It enslaves children in an artificial make-believe world. It deprives them of their future. Ow! Entertainment is literally sawing the branch on which we're all sitting. And the worst is, by amplifying the noise machine and magnifying society's condition to collective addiction and ADHD. Because it's every day, bro! It's hiding precisely what a great number of young people are doing to change the world. How conscious, committed, coherent, brave they are. The noise machine is doing everything it can to silence the issues that really matter. Hence, accelerating collapse. Suffering has become unbearable, both to humans and nature. Paths. Our belief system is the one thing that enslaves us. It's like an old and rotten tea bag that's infused too much and too long in our minds with ego, power, competition, domination, conquest, greed, control, Slavery, fear, flight, you name it. Ooh, dégueulasse. Choice. The problem is choice. We can choose a new tea bag with a much, much nicer flavor based on 
caring, healing, loving, promoting consciousness, cooperation, solidarity, balance, decency. Mmm, delicious. Social change. Unfuck yourself from the system. How are we going to do that? Step out of an economy that is based on suffering. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone? We need to change the whole system. First, to reduce economic inequalities, to ensure a more equitable distribution of resources. And two, to significantly reduce resources consumption. Choose others. Choose to join a team, a group, an association, a community, people who can teach you Kung Fu. For multinationals, big industry and governments to take into account the systemic consequences of their activities. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will sue you. Personal change. Where are the YouTube channels that elevate our minds and hearts and spirits that raise awareness in the trending section? Choose role models who are responsible, coherent, who embody the best of who you are. Influencers who are worthy of bearing that name promote wisdom, not idiocracy or greed. Choose the future you want to live in. The question that really matters is, who are we as individuals and as a species? Choose to believe. Choose to embody the change you want to see in the world. So yes, of course, Jake and Logan Paul can save the world and grow up. The real question is, will they? Chicken and egg dilemma. Are we running away from reality because of collapse? Or is collapse happening because we're running away from reality?